To assemble the fire hose, they first pull out an outer hose jacket over a 33 yard long cable. Then with another cable, they feed a second untreated hose jacket inside the first one. Finally, they attach a cable to the third and innermost layer, the tube, and pull it along the entire length of the double jacket. Once it's all the way through, they trim both ends. The three layers, outer jacket, inner jacket, and tube, are now ready to become one. They begin the fusing process by clamping one end of the assembled hose to a steam nozzle. As the clamp holds the hose steady, the nozzle blasts pressurized steam into the tube. At the same time, it moves backward, pulling out any kinks. The hot steam melts the adhesive in the tube material and it penetrates the inner jacket around it. Once everything's perfectly straight, they pump in cold air to solidify the adhesive. This permanently bonds the layers. They roll up the finished hose into a coil, controlling the winder with a foot pedal. Then they lay the coiled hose on a table to install the couplings. Those are the components that attach the hose to the water supply on one end and to the spray nozzle on the other. They trim each end and then insert a brass expansion ring and then an aluminum coupling on top. An expansion machine does the rest. They attach the end securely to the machine's protruding bar. Then the bar retracts and expands, pushing the brass ring outward. The force wedges the brass into the aluminum coupling permanently. This company tests every fire hose it produces under high pressure on this table. After marking the type of hose with a stencil and indelible ink, they fill the hose with water. They check for holes and kinks and verify that the couplings stay in place. After the test, they drain the water. They insert a giant sponge to get rid of any water left behind. And now these new hoses are ready for their baptism by fire.